Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin of MikeLevinSEO.com and today we're going to deal with getting back on track after a two-week hiatus and catastrophic loss of momentum. So I'll start out with throwing myself a softball. We're going to just do some uh, search and replace in Vim because I realize that the module name that I chose for my global variables, glob.py, is already a module that you can import through Python. And it's a great example how your local directory import supersedes the uh, system-wide import, so you can easily uh, override a module name. Sometimes you got to be careful of that. But in this case, I'm just going to use git to move glob.py to something that also stands for global. I was going to use CFG for configuration, and I've used that in past projects so much I'm just sick of looking at it. I still like the idea of global to indicate uh, it's, it's global. So it might be a little more typing, but let's get literal. Global.py. So git did the renaming essentially, so it's tracked in there. If I do a git status, it knows that the file has been renamed. Uh, I'll probably do a git ignore to get rid of some of this uh, other stuff here, like the cache and the database and the pickle file. But now we can vim into the main project file, which is gropy.py, and the moment you've the thing you came to he came here for, which is the substitute command. It's an ex command, so you start out by typing a colon, and you could just do s, but we want it to apply to the whole file, so you've got to actually do percent %s. Vim is one of those programs, one of the few programs that you need a tutorial for search and replace, but it's worth it. And now you put what you're searching for in the first, uh, after the first slash, shall we say. So it's going to be glob, and uh, just to be safe, we're going to put backslash period, which is uh, escaping the period because you're actually using regular expressions now, and period has a special meaning, so backslashing it makes it into a normal period. And we're going to replace that with global period, forward slash uh, G for doing it globally, and C for checking with us for a con confirm. There's the first one, we just hit Y for yes, and we step through it, and I can already see from the color coding, I made a mistake choosing global as the name because it is a recognized keyword by Python. So we are going to uh, escape, undo, undo, drop out into a shell, git, move global.py to, let's just go with cfg, uh, configuration.py. Um, yeah, no, I hate cfg, global, globs, globs. We'll just make it plural. Now we exit and it puts us right back where we were. Now I'm going to, before I do the, uh, the search and replace, I'm going to go to the top of the file with gg. And now I'm just going to demonstrate how all these regular expression search patterns are always here. So if you just type forward slash glob backslash period, you can see how you can just search through your document, hit enter to take the search to jump you there, and then you can repeat your last search by just uh, the end key, next, next. And you can see there's only a few places we've used it, but nonetheless, we'll replace them all with the global search and replace, which is still in our buffer. So now instead of that, I put that. Yes, yes. Yes, escape, colon, W. And now to test this. Well, it's been a while. 
but it should still be wired up to the use this document here, which I will delete out the uh, input that was automatically put in. And then I'll actually lift this up, move it over onto this uh, screen, make this a little bit smaller so you can see the before and after. And this will help me get back into the swing of where I was. Now to execute a Python program, you can do, uh, let's see, what was that? Colon W space bang Python. Send what's on your screen uh, directly to the, uh, ah, okay, globs not defined. So that is where we import top of the page. Got to make that plural as well. There you go. It was a long way to go, but we've demonstrated uh, global search and replace with confirmation and even touched on regular expressions a tiny bit. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.